we're going to start this unit on energy by talking about what exactly energy is. And it's a surprisingly difficult thing to define. So what is energy? Well, energy is a conserved substance-like quantity with the capability to produce change. Now, there's a lot in that definition, and it's only one definition that you could use for energy. Conserved means that energy can't either be created or destroyed, so there's always the same amount of it, so it can't be created or destroyed. Now, I've said in inverted commas here, it's substance-like. It's really important to note here that it isn't a substance, uh, but we can say that it's substance-like in that it can be transferred from one storage mode to another, a bit like using an analogy of money. Um, money is not necessarily a substance, but we can store it in the bank or in our wallet. Now, the next word there, of course, is uh, quantity. And oh, like there was our money analogy, the quantity is just a value or a number. And it's indeed essentially what energy is. It's just some number that is conserved uh, no matter what process is going on. And when we look at the words uh, capability to produce change, it basically means that energy can do stuff. Uh, I've seen one definition that energy is pain. Um, if you have energy in some form, it can be uh, used to create pain uh, by using it in the right way. Rather than talking about energy in terms of different forms of energy or different types of energy, uh, I'm not going to describe them as forms or types of energy. I'm going to talk about them uh, as different ways of storing energy. So let's just look at the main two um, kind of storage modes of energy. The first is oops, kinetic energy, and that is the energy stored in an object that is moving. The second that you probably have heard of is potential energy, and that's energy that's stored in a field. So, uh, for example, a gravitational field or an electromagnetic field. And we are going to talk later about internal energy. And internal energy is essentially just kinetic energy and potential energy at the microscopic level. And we'll talk about that later. Now, in this topic, we're going to be focusing on kinetic energy and potential energy, usually in, as in a gravitational field. And also we'll be talking about potential energy stored in a spring or in an elastic substance. We're going to learn about um, some key facts about energy, that it can be transferred from one storage mode to another. So from kinetic to potential or different um, types of potential. Energy can be transferred from one object to another. And of course, that um, this idea that energy is conserved will be revisited 